Scratch down to a field of seven, and those seven starters are lining up in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. It's post time for the first. Back upstairs for the call to track announcer Vance Cameron. Jetster, Redland Sampson, Rockin' Novel, Blue Monk, Silver Hill Lightning, Grand Ave Legend, Rusty Riley. Top of the stretch. Here they come. The rough and pacing Jackster at the rail will lead them out. Blue Monk is also leaving. Redland Sampson, third one into the turn to get away fourth. Rock and Novel from the outside. That's Silver Hill Lightning fifth. Grand Ave Legend is sixth. And the trailer, Rusty Riley. Up the back stretch they go. And here comes Blue Monk to take over the lead. In line to Mark Bradley. Jackster gives way for the two hole ride. Back into third, Redland Sampson. Fourth on the cones, that is Rockin' Novel. Racing from fifth to Silver Hill Lightning. Grand Ave Legend six, trailing seventh. Rusty O'Reilly on by the quarter, and they were there 29 and a one. Straight alignment now at the 3 H pole, led by Blue Monk and Bradley. Second is Jester, Redland Sampson third, Rockin' Novel fourth, Silver Hill Lightning fifth. Grand Ave Legend six, trailing seventh. That is Rusty Riley. They approach the opening half mile, led by Blue Monk. He's got him halfway home in the opener. First up comes a Redland Sampson second, third at the rail. Jester to the outside fourth. That is Rockin' Novel. 59 and two was the half. Fifth is Silver Hill Lightning. On the outside six is Grand Ave Legend and the trailer. Here's Rusty Riley on the back stretch for the final time. They go to three quarters, led by Blue Monk. From the outside, the challenge comes from Redland Sampson. Third up the rail, Jackster. Rockin' Novel is there, fourth. Moving into fifth, that's Grand Dev Legend. Now taking over six on the outside, Rusty Riley and the trailer. Silver Hill Lightning, three quarters up in one, 29 and two. They're down to an eighth of a mile to go. Blue Monk trying to see it through, and he's clear by two. Getzer is second, Redland Sampson, rocking novel on the far outside. Deep stretch now, and it's Blue Monk in line to Mark Bradley to win by open length. Jetster rallies second, Grand Ave Legend up the inside is third. And the time for the mile in one. 59, four. Okay, as I thought, I thought Blue Monk dropping another level here in for the optional 5,000 claimer. Good spot on the gate. I thought he'd get another aggressive drive here by Mark. And Jetster, who cut it all out last week, faded to third, was very happy to take that two-hole ride behind Blue Monk. But Blue Monk goes the distance here on top, 59-2 and two to the half, 129-2 and two to the three quarters. Nice trip here uh, with the wind variant, 59-4 and four for Blue Monk. They get it done in a race number one. Jetster in for the deuce off that good pocket trip. And up the inside, Grand Ave, Legend, and Heffernan will grab the show dough. So it's a 4 one, six unofficially here in race one. Here comes Blue Monk to the first race winner's circle by pacing Gelling six by up the credit from the Real Desire Dam, Real Heart, 
owned by Mary Jean Noy of Clyde River and Denise Andrew from Calgary, Alberta. Bred by the Pedigree Farm of Rockwood, Ontario, trained by Jay Noy, Mark Bradley will guide him to victory in 159 and 4. Blue Monk in the opener. <laughs> 